Hey everybody, welcome back to Bolt Gun. Alright, so we're in chapter something or another. <laughs> wow. Chapter 2, map 4? Yeah, I think this is level 4. Oh, gotta toggle my runnings on. Alright, nothing special in these little tendrils, I suppose. I've got this weapon that I'm not entirely sure what the best use of it is at this point, but I'm sure we'll find something. Oh, I actually kept the um, excess ammo from last time. That's kind of nice. Wait. Oh, right. Yeah, the munitions boon thing. Eh, can I get up there? Yeah! Just use the bolt gun. The bolt gun. That's a bunch of ammo, I gotta say. Okay, I got one. Nice shower of health there. Huh. I mean, it... For strength three, it does okay damage given its fire rate, but... I, I still don't know. Yeah, well. I mean, it's probably good against, like, groups of squishy enemies, so... Maybe that? What am I doing? Okay. So, um... Yeah, I'm starting to see why people complain about not having a map and... Okay. <laughs> Red light goes on. Red light goes off. That's a little weird. Alright. Oh, okay. Yay, non-obvious color filters. This reminds me of World of Warcraft. You go to a different zone and then all of a sudden everything becomes blood red. Yeah, they... Blizzard love doing that. So hold up. Let's, uh... Ah, that does pretty okay against Screamers. And it doesn't use all my heavy bolter ammo. Of course, then again, that ammo is technically even more limited. So, uh question mark there that's that's more like it okay I'm kind of thinking that's the oh my god I can't aim yes yeah, so that's probably the, really the main purpose of this weapon is for situations like that okay splat please there we go perfect so squishy. Eh, well. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Well, I squished one of them at least, so that's good. The problem is the uh, the one corpse got flung behind the one that was still alive, so it um, didn't really work out in terms of preventing the blue horror spawns, but oh well. What's going to do? So is there a way up here? Is there any point to coming up here? Oh, this is doing that thing where the animations slow down as you get further away. I wouldn't think that'd be necessary in a game like this, but uh, I mean, optimizations, I guess. Might be something they just get for free with the Unreal Engines. They figured, you know, might as well. Okay. Uh, I saw a power-up thing. Or not power-up, but a pickup for Contempt. Can I... Eh, itchy. Can I get back up there? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. You want me to tell you the story about the little engine that could again? Man, it's kind of wild to think of how long some of these movies have been around. Like Major Pain. Came out in what? Sometime in the 90s? Ow. Well, Vengeance is already, or the Contempt is already done because of one single hit. Oh well. Screw it. <laughs> More pew pew. Yeah. 
More pew pew prevents QQ. Oh boy. Anyway. Let's use the bolt gun, I suppose. I'm kind of... Well, I got plenty of shoddy ammo, so... That seems grossly unnecessary. Especially when I have this. Yeah, we'll use the bolt gun for a little while. Might as well. So does this actually shoot, like, bullets or bolts? I mean, like, you know, things that you use to hold stuff together, that kind of bolt. Again, complete noob to the franchise here. Or almost complete noob. I think I mentioned this, but I did, I did enjoy the Dawn of War games before they fucked those up, so, um... There's that. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love the weak enemies that the uh, charge will just completely tear through. It's so unbelievably satisfying. Oh, more amble. And I didn't get any more plasma. Yep. Goof that up. Okay. Do I have anything left that I need to reload? Turns out, yes. They are really... Uh, kind of regretting not just leaning back and grabbing some of that extra ammo from the starting cave, because it seems like they're only really giving you ammo for the bolt gun. <laughs> Maybe I should have taken the hint. Wait, I already went through here. Oh. Kind of seems like I'm supposed to go up there. Hmm. So do I have to climb or do I have to jump? I'm kind of leaning towards jumping. Wait, what's over here? Hey, there we go. That's a key door. That's health. I don't have a key, so uh, I guess I'm just going to keep running. And splattered. Oh, that was the wrong button. I actually meant to throw this. <laughs> Turns out I just boosted instead. I just got really excited. Just wanted to give the guy a hug, that's all. Oh, out of grenades. See, look, Ma, I used all my grenades. Aren't I, aren't I a good boy? Oh. Turns out I got clotheslines. Oh, hey, thank you. Wow, this music is really wild. I like it. And get you. Baby, I got you. Alright. Can't climb up there, I guess. Wow. Alright. That was a little awkward, but you know what? It worked. Oh, wait. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Alright. Anyway, everything's fine now. Let's go ahead and just... Oh, dang it, no plasma. No vengeance... Vengeancers, whatever it's called. And uh, we've got a lift. Man, this is like... This is... Oh, okay, there we go. Cool. This is basically like Return of the Bolt Gun, more or less. Because, yeah, you've, you're kind of... Okay, now, there we go. I gotta say that right before it gives me ammo for everything else. Well, you know. Okay, another issue I have with these... Oh, for the love of God! Another issue I have with these champions of the, in the incredibly growing list. The fact that they damage you when their animation starts. I swear they do. I... How am I supposed to get up there? Oh, that's... What did that even bounce off of? How am I going to get that guy? He's literally camping there. If I shoot him at close range, it's going to damage me as much as it damages him. 
Okay, well, I guess taking advantage of weird momentum glitches works. Okay, maybe it's not so much a glitch. I jumped while I was going up a lift. Turns out that actually does do a thing in this game. Okay. And, of course, gotta reload. Okay, there we go. Hmm. <sighs> I just really wish I knew when those damn aspiring champions became, well, like what kind of time window you had to work with, because it feels like they were, they behave so inconsistently. Kind of makes them go from like a legitimately dangerous enemy to one that's just incredibly annoying. Oh great, and we gotta deal with more of them. What the hell? Mashing space. The weird fucking hitboxes really doesn't help. It's like when you could just see projectiles phasing through their arm. And great, now I've got to basically sit back here and play the game in the most fun way imaginable. You know, people like, people dog on regenerative health systems, but having a hybrid approach actually works quite well. Because that way you don't end up in situations like this where you have no health. And the only way to play the game is the most, well, the least fun way imaginable. Not saying that it should be 100% regenerative, because then you end up with Call of Duty Syndrome, but... I mean, a mixed approach does not seem like a bad thing when you consider the alternative. And this is the alternative. By hybrid approach, I'm referring to something like the, uh, like the newer, uh, Wolfenstein games, where essentially it segments your health bar. Actually, I think Far Cry does this as well, but it segments your health bar into, like, five segments, and it regens up to the, up to the next segment, and you need to use health kits in order to, uh, restore beyond that. I don't know, that always felt good to me, because... You know, it still has, like, that element where you have to be careful about your health. But it's never detrimental. Like, you don't end up in uh, that situation where you're basically just stuck, I don't know, peekaboo shooting for minutes on end. It's like with that, I mean, it was a narrow passage, so if I did end up charging, there's no way I could have avoided taking damage. Uh, that pink horror is dead. Cool. All right, back up to 31 health. So, I don't know. I mean, of course, the other thing that would help is uh, if the game were maybe a bit more... Or I should say a bit less chintzy when it comes to health, because it seems like in some levels, it just absolutely floods you with health pickups. And then in other ones, it puts all the health pickups after the big fights. So if you walk into, like, a somewhat big fight with low health, well, you're going to be peekaboo shooting <laughs> the entire time. Because one shot is going to kill you instantly. I mean, aside from your little bit of, um, your mercy shield... But there's no, like, on-screen indicators to when you could rely on that, so, um, you just kind of have to do it based on feel, I guess. And this is me trying to climb up into an area that I'm probably not supposed to be in. <laughs> Dang it! You put a brick wall in front of me? How dare you! Oh, look, there's people. Yeah, for the throne indeed. Uh, wait. I think that's just a skull pile. Yeah, I don't think this is the approach you're supposed to take, but... You know... I'm okay with breaking the rules. Okay, I could've just ran along the ground. You know what? It's fine. It's all fine. I mean, let's be real, I was just hoping to get onto the roof, but that 
obviously didn't happen, so, um... Oops. Oh. Okay. Okay. I mean, there's stuff in there. I don't think there's any health, though. <laughs> Waiting. <laughs> Alright, cool. Yeah, there's no health in here. So, um, there's that. Maybe there's some around the, uh... Well, it's the key for that over there. The Sigma key. And, uh, anything over here? Aside from barrels, which will probably insta-kill me. The barrels will- okay, there we go. Thank goodness. Eat Bolter, you bastard! I believe he ate Bolter. Whoa, frame rate. What the hell is going on here? Jeez, oh man. Does RTX mean nothing to you? No, seriously, what the hell is going on? Okay, I think we're good. Oh, yeah, just picked up that whole thing for one shell. Okay, uh, are we loaded up on everything? Whoops. Yeah, just randomly switch weapons. <laughs> Alright, so we also have this other area over yonder. Which I will approach in a straight line. Which has a... oh. Uh, what do I want to use for this? I'm kind of leaning towards just upgrading the bolt gun. I mean, you're giving me bolt gun ammo left and right, so... Yeah, let's just go ahead and bump this to straight... Uh, straight... Swip, strength 5. And, uh... Yeah, we'll use this for a little bit. I mean, that basically gives it the strength level of a heavy bolter. And ammo is much more available for this. What is happening? I don't understand what's going on with these frame drops. I never really ran into those in the, uh... Most of the rest of the game. Yeah, screw that guy. Chaos Space Marine! Oh, hi! <laughs> oh, hi, Mark! Alright, hold up. Let's, uh... Okay, you're going to have to stop that up there. Okay, that worked out, sort of, I guess. Ugh. Wow, okay. Do 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 do. What's this? Oh, a melt -a gun I've heard good things about this. Oh, I'm in love. <laughs> oh my god, I'm in love. Okay, well let's um, not waste ammo for that just yet. Because I guarantee during like the obligatory arena fight, they're probably going to make me use that. God, you know, now I'm... Oh, hi. Uh... Nope, it's all the way over there. Nope. Okay, that dealt half of his health in one shot. I'll take that. Am I hitting him? I don't think... No, I wasn't. That time it just went right through him. Perfect. Man, the hitboxes are off in this game. Now, you know what it is? It's it's really just biased heavily towards center of mass. At least on the big guys. On the little guys, it seems... It, it feels about right. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, on the little guys, it feels right. But on the big guys, I think they're almost using like the same hitbox they use for the uh, the smaller enemies. Which is a bit of an issue, because then the shots will just go right through their arm, which, uh, is not particularly intuitive. 
Because I don't know. Having essentially a railgun rip your arm off probably is not going to do very well for your overall health and wellness. Just a thought. But anyway, let's go ahead and scour this for health and miscellaneous stuff. Just wondering where you went. I don't know what the hell you're doing. Doesn't seem like you know either. Oh well. <laughs> Easy to deal with. Amazing. So we've got... Okay, so that's that other key. So that brings me back, I'm assuming, to that first door that I ran into earlier on in the level. Do we have any other... Oh, we got these little wimpy drops. Perfect. Do we have anything larger? Kinda doesn't seem like it. So, um... I guess let's proceed onward to... Some sort of victory against ye old heresy. Oh, thank you for your stuff. Uh, no, not that. Uh, it's back here. Down. No, not down here. It's up here. Up one more level. Dang it! <laughs> it's so vertical. I do appreciate that. Let's be perfectly honest here. Oh, the Terminator. Amazing. So, what's this room all about? Whoops. I made a goof. Oh, come on. That time the hitbox just didn't work. <laughs> okay. That time it did. Well, it doesn't help that these are all, um, these are all sprites. These things have to be done in kind of a, I don't know. Let's just say I can't imagine Unreal Turn, or the Unreal Tournament. God, I wish. I can't imagine the Unreal Engine is, um, particularly, I don't want to say well-suited, but not the best-suited engine for, uh, dealing with sprite-based enemies. Wouldn't that have been interesting if this were, like, GZ Doom-based? <laughs> I would respect that. I mean, granted, that's not exactly what we'd consider an industry standard engine at this point in, uh, the year of our Lord 2023, but, uh... I mean, you know. Got plenty of games on Steam using it at this point, like Solaco and things of that nature, or was the, uh commercial f commercial friendlier version of it called like gloom I think yeah pretty cool that's one of the things that I do love about this era of gaming is just kind of that resistance against what was formerly you know known as like what am I talking about anyway that like kind of resistance against the uh, against 3d almost modern shooter tropes and what have you. I mean, we live at a point at, at a time now where people are making games using game engines from the 90s. Heavily upgraded engines, obviously, but still. I mean, you look at uh like Ion Fury and that's so obviously build. Yeah, and stuff like that. It's just it's kind of wonderful. Okay, I see I see what the flow is. I know where I am. Yay, I think it's back up this way. Is it? No, it's not. It's halfway down this path here. And you really, really have to pay attention to where everything is in this game. Jeez, oh man. I haven't had too many issues with navigation. But, yeah, I could definitely see why people would want to see a map in this game. It's, uh... Navigation is kind of tricky. Of course, at the same time, after playing through that one non-Euclidean segment, I could see why they wouldn't. 
excuse me, wouldn't be able to easily provide a map. Huh. This area is so stacked that I would think that... Like, it feels like it should be an arena. But it's... it's not. <laughs> so, um... Maybe it becomes one later, who knows. Anyway, let's go up here. Okay. I think that gives me 300 contempt. I don't really want to... Why do I get the feeling that I'm not going to be able to come back here? Oh, no. Oh, okay, no, that sets me at 200. Yeah, I'm totally going into an arena right now. <laughs> Guaranteed. Called it! I mean, let's let's be real. I think anyone saw that. <laughs> anyone saw that coming. Even if you have just like a bare bones surface level knowledge of this game, I'm pretty sure you could have seen that coming. Okay, so this takes 10 shots each. I was wondering about that. 30 seemed to be a little bit generous. And admittedly, I wasn't paying super close attention to my ammo counts the few times I used this. Holy crap, the jibs. Okay, I mean, that, that was somewhat effective. Now, uh, let's continue onward with whatever the hell is going on here. So I wonder if maybe using the Vengeance Launcher, because these guys are grouped up so tightly, might be a good idea. Nope. Oh, hello. I think that's the Lords of Change. A, a Lord, a Lords of Change. Ah. <sighs> Yeah. Sorry, that's just the difference between English and American English. We say everything 100% rightly. Ow. Yeah, so this is uh, not looking ideal for uh, your hero here. Are you serious? That went right through his corpse. Yeah, it's a lord of... That's a lords of change right there. I hate these guys. I legitimately do. This has to be one of the worst enemies I think I've ever come across. He hit me through a wall? Oh no, he just... He wasn't anywhere near me. What the fuck was that? That's cool. Okay, so those guys need to be melted, obviously, because... They're easily the worst enemy in this game. And I mean, you know my feelings about Plague Toads and the fact that I think those guys are worse. I mean, just the fact that they raise their axe and that does damage to you is just dumb, honestly. Because <laughs> I, I remember distinctly seeing that happen earlier in this level. Okay. There we go. I don't know. It probably doesn't help but that I'm playing on the highest difficulty. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that worked out, I guess. Which probably makes the uh, amount of damage they do completely imbalanced compared to just their speed and everything. Because, I mean, the only effective weapon they ha that you really have against them... Okay, fuck off, you little piece of shit. Anyway. Yeah, like, the only weapon you really have that's effective against them, aside from the Melta, is, um... The Plasma. And they close the gap so quickly... That, um... You can't use the Plasma. So, it just ends up taking an eternity to kill them. And they also are so agile that they could just... Basically move whenever. And that's not even including the fact that, uh... They have this incredible knack of just becoming full-on champions no matter what <laughs> they just suck it's poorly implemented it's a cool idea don't get me wrong but I just don't think they're implemented well <laughs> okay that actually didn't do all that much to him Okay, good. At least that splatters him, like, instantaneously. 
Oh, there's like 18,000 of them too. That's Okay, did that go through them? Fuck you. My god. <sighs> yep. Oh, fuck off. The Lord of Change wouldn't be shit if there weren't 15,000 aspiring champions in this arena. Apparently we needed that many. Oh hey, Strength 5 uh, Bolter does a pretty good job against the Pink Horrors. So, um, that's a good thing. At this point I'm starting to kind of wish that I would have... I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. Kind of have a lot of other things on my mind right now. But, um, I kind of wish that I would have thought to... grab that, um, the weapon upgrade after I grabbed the Melta Gun. Or I should say, I wish I knew I was getting the Melta Gun in this level. Because I'm very curious to see what that looks like upgraded. <laughs> Basically turns it from a railgun into a BFG, I'm guessing. I don't know. Those are my hopes and dreams, anyway. I'm pretty sure I didn't jib that guy in time. Okay, go away. Uh... Okay. That works. <laughs> I'm climbing! I'm climbing! Oh, right, of course. They're invincible for uh, several seconds. Perfect. Yep, shoot him with the least effective weapon. Perfect. Okay. And, um, yeah, that was a mess. Yep. I think I got screwed over by the hitbox again. Please stop that. I can't even describe how annoyed that makes me. Yeah, just three shots through the arm. No big deal. Hi. <sighs> Need I go into why I hate those guys more? Okay, um... Yep. The second they close the distance, it just does a shit ton of damage to you. It's, it's just... awful, actually. Yeah, I'll take Plague Toads over those guys, that's for sure. At least the Plague Toads, I mean, they do a... a obscene amount of damage and they take way too many hits, but at least... Okay, fuck off with that shit. This is really annoying. The corpses don't blow up. I think that's another thing that doesn't help. It's kind of a compounding set of issues, really. Like, where sometimes the hitboxes feel a bit jank, which prevents you from hitting them if you hit them just slightly off-center of mass. The fact that the corpses sometimes don't seem to take hits, which prevents you from... A or prevents you from preventing them... Okay, from resurrecting. Yeah, it's it's definitely a multi-tier issue. Oh, and the fact that they move as fast as you do. And deal damage before their attack animation starts. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, maybe the idea of that is that it's supposed to be, like, that's part of his, like, lunge attack, maybe? I don't know. You know, the other possibility, too, is throwing grenades around, like, uh... An absolute mad lad. I don't know. That might work. Okay, that time that worked. Perfect. Also, there's really not any ammo in this. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't do a whole lot to him. Are you serious? Okay. Yeah, it was it was well worth taking the damage in that case. Okay, seriously? 
I need you guys to knock it off. Alright. God, what the hell? Okay, I'm just getting knocked around all over the place. That makes sense. By an enemy that I could one shot. Are you okay, these guys are becoming the new Nurglings. So they can just cast magic and hit you from anywhere? Is that kind of the vibe that I'm getting here? I legitimately don't know. They kind of feel like an arch file to me. Yeah, this thing's still, uh... Okay. Alright, so they could just hit you from anywhere. Got it. <sighs> okay. I don't even... I'm not sure what the wind-up for that is. Is it telegraphed? Because it doesn't... I didn't see anything different. Oh, great. Now I gotta start the whole fucking fight over again. I mean, it definitely seems to be line of sight based, but... Whereas, uh, things like the Archfile just actually have the courtesy of telegraphing their attack and giving you a second to move. I don't know what the telegraph for that is, if it even has one. This doesn't seem... very good. Uh... Really? Yeah, this is, um... When I said that I was looking for harder arenas, I don't know. Not exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for maybe like, I don't know, maybe not a Lord of Change mixed with a ton of champions or aspiring champions. Basically me being picky, that's all. Okay, running out of shells. Okay, aspiring champions, a go-go. I'm stuck in the goddamn scenery. Okay, um, a couple champions are done. I get a vort. I did not get a vort grenade. Perfect. How did you not take damage from that second hit? God, get. Yeah, and then just throw a bunch of things in there so that the player can't move. That's uh, that's another great, great design decision. All right, cool. Oh boy, this is really cluttered. Okay, there we go. And now that I can... I'm still in the range where I can get one-shotted by that little bastard. Oh, cool. Just... okay. Guess I was too far away to really accurately hit him. Okay, what do we got? Um... Yeah. I just, the, the problem with that is I need to figure out what... Anyway, I need to figure out exactly what the uh, telegraph is for that one random magic attack that that thing has. But that's easier said than done, considering it's basically a one-shot on me. And, um, coupled with the fact that, well, I can't really afford to do that until the end of the arena. I could save and try to fi I'm gonna do that. I, I really need to figure this out. Alright, so, um... Alright. It does happen very quickly. So wait, let's see. Alright, that's the fire attack. That's simple. Okay. And then he teleports. So, um, come on, do the thing. No. 
So basically he'll sort of hump the air. Oh, that has basically nothing. That's awful. I don't know what the hell they were thinking with that shit. You just have to pretty much, like, anticipate that he's up to no good and then just move behind cover. So pretty much just, like, poke your head out long enough to take a shot, then duck behind cover. Yeah, this is kind of bad. I can see why my friends were complaining about the Lords of Change. Unless there's something I'm missing. If there is, please leave a comment and uh, tell me, because I would very much appreciate that. I mean, obviously there's a cast delay, but it just kind of seems like this boss is just peekaboo shooting the game. Oh, okay. Face plasma. Face ma? Gross. So, now he's back over here. Ah, okay. Of course. Just really appreciating how well the arch file is designed at this point. Fuck that. That was annoying. Alright. Yeah, I, I don't really think that there's a viable telegraph. Like, I don't... I, I think it's more or less just, um... Hiding behind cover. And just kind of hoping you're behind cover when the shit hits the fan. That that seems to be the general vibe that I'm getting here. Yeah, not, not really crazy about that, obviously. Again, like I said, if I'm wrong, please leave a comment. I'm a big boy. I can, I can stand being told that I'm doing something incorrectly. So, uh... Yeah, that was a, that was a bit annoying. Um, another thing, too... You know, again, Exalted Champion's obviously a problem. If there is something I'm missing or a better way I could handle it, again, I'm open to suggestions. Trust me, I do not get butt hurt when people make suggestions. That would have helped a lot. Oh well. <laughs> Pro tip, everybody, if you're playing if you haven't played this game yet, there's a still a megasphere thing over there. It's not a megasphere. Yeah. Plasma gun ammo. Let me make sure everything's loaded. I'm pretty sure it is at this point. Yeah. I think I'm also going to need to bring my uh, weapon switch keys a little bit closer to my WASDA cluster. I don't know. Anyway. Bonk. Okay, level completed with uh, some difficulties. Some minor difficulties. So yeah, I don't know. Um, kind of figuring out the Lords of Change mechanics, and by that I mean... I don't know. It kind of seems like he humps the air and then just sort of zaps you. Or, or, okay, so correction. He humps the air and he either zaps you or does the fire attack. It's I'm I'm not really I'm not really sure. But anyway. <laughs> I guess I did get the harder arena I was asking for. Which honestly, this one it, like when I kind of put things into perspective, I still had fewer deaths on this one than I did with the uh, chapter one level four arena back when I first did it. So um eh, I don't know. It's okay, I guess. Either way, those um Aspiring champions are annoying, and I, I want to smack them. But, yeah, well, what you gonna do? Anyway, <laughs> that'll be enough, enough ranting and whining for one day, I think. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.